heirlooms versus hybrids. Now, heirlooms doesn't have a precise definition, but generally speaking, there is agreement that an heirloom has to be a variety of tomato that has been grown for a very considerably long period of time. Uh, 40 to 50 years is, uh, is a common benchmark for them, or at least 40 to 50 years. And they have to have grown during that period and maintain the same qualities without cross-pollination with other varieties. Uh, you might be as interested to learn as I was when I first learned it as a master gardener, tomatoes don't need a pollinator. They don't need to have a bee uh, visit them. In fact, a honeybee is not capable of pollinating a tomato plant. Uh, tomato plants are usually uh, pollinated by wind action. Occasionally, you might find the, the big native bumblebees uh, on your tomatoes, and they can go from tomato to tomato uh, and different varieties and spread the pollen. But usually the tomatoes are pollinated by wind or by you shaking the plants. If they're not producing very well, try that. Uh, you're uh, playing uh, at being the wind. Uh, because they are self-pollinating, uh, for the heirloom varieties, they are able to uh, produce seeds that if you save them and grow them the next year, you will grow an identifiable, identical to the parent tomato variety, so long as they haven't accidentally been uh, cross-pollinated with another uh, variety of tomato. Hybrids um, don't have that characteristic. If you save seeds from a hybrid tomato, you won't get necessarily the same tomato growing from those seeds as the parent plant. Uh, that's because hybrids are a cross between at least two, sometimes several different varieties, and they've been intentionally cross-pollinated for certain characteristics. Sometimes it's flavor. If you're a fan of sun gold tomatoes, those wonderful little cherry tomatoes that are so sweet, uh, kids seem to really love them. They're a hybrid and they've been hybridized in a way that it really emphasizes that sweet taste. Uh, more importantly, um, if you've had trouble with diseases uh, in your garden, you may wanna give some careful consideration of using hybrids because many of the hybrids have been developed in a way that they can have some disease resistance 